Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to solve that. Yep, that's correct. That is a dead patch in your grass. Not caused by a dog peeing or anything like that. That's caused by cinch bugs, also called kinch bugs. It's C-H-I-N-C-H, whatever you pronounce it is fine with me. And what they do is feed on the stems and crowns of the blades of grass just above the soil. They suck out the sap. So you don't even see these darn things very often. These little bugs, cinch bugs, chinch bugs, whatever, are like sort of fat fruit flies that live in the ground mostly. There are several ways to get rid of uh, chinch bugs. We're going to go over them all. We'll explain them in detail, then explain how we are going to solve the problem in our backyard, which is with this bug out nematode from Wilson. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. So if you find this uh, video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Very much help with, helps with the Google algorithms so other people can get this information as well. Now, to be clear, I'd never heard of chinch bugs before, and I'd also never heard of nematodes before. But I've done a pile of research in the last few days, and I've talked with a pile of garden people to figure out what the best solution for my particular problem. And as I said, we're going to go over all of the solutions, so the solution we have may be different than the one you choose. My lawn used to look pretty much like this. Now it looks like that and I'm not happy. By the way, this is after two weeks of very heavy rain, which is very unusual for Calgary, Alberta. In fact, cinch bugs shouldn't be here. They're apparently primarily a southern U.S. problem, but because of global warming, they're coming north. Now, unlike most bugs, chinch bugs like the dryness and the heat in the middle of your lawn. Now, the way you can tell you've got them is looking at the ground, you'll see a million little holes, and if you want to do a test, what you can do is take a coffee can or some other cylinder that has a top and a bottom cut out, push it down on the grass, fill it up with water, and watch the bugs float up. However, my neighbors have already done that, so I'm not going to do that here. Let's go over the different solutions, and then we'll show you our solution, these nematodes. As you can see here, we have done a lot of research, and we've found four common solutions. We've ranked them here, call them B, C, D, and E, from most effective to least effective. However, all of these are quite effective. So let's go over the first category. This is one that we ruled out because it's basically just not available in a lot of parts of the world, including most of Canada. And this is the synthetic chemical class. This is crazy effective. But, you know, as you'd expect, pyrothyroids, neonicotinoids, and organophosphates are dangerous not just to cinch bugs, but to everything. So there's a reason they're outlawed in a lot of places. And if you've got dogs, cats, or kids, or birds around, or worms, or anything else, yeah, it's probably going to toast all of them. So that category we just ignored. What we settled on where it was this Wilson bug out. Now, take note. Wilson's the company, by the way, and Bug Out is a line of products, and the one product we chose in that line was the nematode, this little round guy here. There are different Wilson Bug X Out products that are not nematodes. This one's nematodes. You can see it's pretty small. Nematodes, which is just a microscopic organism that kills pinch bugs. Now, there are different nematodes for different bugs, but these ones go after chinch bugs in particular. Crazy effective. Why are these better than the other uh, two columns, which we will go over in just a second? Well, because these stay in the ground. So when the next range of hatchlings come out, they go after them too. They also don't cause a problem with humans or birds or, or any other bugs. These are specific to Chinch bugs. Now the next category down is something called trounce from a company called Safer. And really all that is is an insecticidal soap with pyrethians or pyrethins. I don't know how to pronounce that. But what it boils down to is the insecticidal soap screws up the bug's exoskeleton. So the bones sort of fall apart. And the pyrethins, pyrethins, whatever you want to call them, that attacks their nervous system. So you put those two together, it's pretty effective. And the last thing you can buy that's least effective, but still quite effective, is, well, in our case, we found a product called Dr. Doom. It's an indoor-outdoor spray, and it works great. And it's just the insecticidal soap. And it's fast-acting. It's a great product. These two products, you'll have to reapply as time goes on if you get them back, because it only works when it's on contact. 
Whereas the nematodes, those things are living in the ground. So when the cinch bugs come back, as they inevitably will, yeah, this stuff's going to eat them. And that gets to the last product, which we didn't cover here, but we did actually buy this ProMix weed and insect defense product. This is just grass seed with a gentle insecticide fungus built into it. And you know what hates that little fungus? Cinch bugs. Yeah. So they don't like your grass after that. And the, that fungus is not harmful to humans, birds, or other animals. So if you have cats and dogs and stuff, it's fine. So I'm going to overseed with this stuff because I want my grass back. You may not want to overseed, but I'm going to because I don't want to wait two years for it to come back by itself. Okay, so I have bought the Wilson sprayer. You can buy any sprayer uh, because I'm just going to add my hose to this. I've got this set to cinch bugs. Take the package of nematodes. And you'll notice on the top here, there's an expiry date. And they're not kidding. These are live guys. This is uh, one that expires at the end of October 2025. The life expectancy is about six months. You want to use these as soon as you get them. And so if that gets to the question of, well, how much do I use if I have, you know, a smaller space than what this recommends? Because this says it's good for 3,000 square feet or about 275 square meters. In my case, you know, I don't have that much. So I'm going to take these out. I, there's like tea bag things in here. You do not tear the tea bags, by the way. You just put them in. But the point is, what do I do with the ones that are left over? First option, don't have any left over. You can't have too many of them. You're not going to cause a problem if you unload all of them into a smaller area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a couple of these aside so that I can use it again in a month or so, just for a second application, which not everybody needs to do. In fact, you don't need to do it all, but I've got it. You can't store it. So let's get to it. I'm going to use one of these right now. And this is what they call a wetting agent. So you just dump it in. So in my case, I'll dump half of it in. And it helps the nematode solution to cling to the grass blades where the cinch bugs are foraging around. I've got my tap set here to warm, by the way. Do not use hot water, use warm water. Now I'm going to take my nematodes, or half of them anyway. <laughs> and put the entire tea bag in. As I said, do not cut the tea bag. And I'm going to put my second bag back in like that. Put the cap back on it. And just leave it at room temperature. Do not put it in your fridge or freezer. Now this is warm water. Fill up the entire container. Put the lid on. Shake the heck out of this thing for a good 60 seconds. We got to wake those little guys up. Basically, what you want to do is mix the warm water in with the nematodes, and that will activate them and wake them, wake them up. This is a biologic. This is a real living creature. You also want to keep shaking this thing, flipping it around a bit while you are applying it to the lawn after the hose is uh, attached to it. All right, so now we're ready for the application of the nematodes. There's a bunch of things you need to get right. Number one, you can't do it during the day. UV light kills these things. So don't bother, you have to do it early morning or in the evening. Second thing, you need to make sure that that ground is saturated. You wanna make it as wet as possible. So what it's recommended to do is to water your lawn two days beforehand, then the day before, and then on the day you wanna apply it, you're good to go. And why do you wanna do that? Well, because you want those cinch bugs to be forced out of the ground because they don't like the water. You, you wanna push them out, and then the nematodes can do their job better. In my case, my lawn is actually waterlogged from the crazy amount of rain that we've been getting. Super unusual for Calgary. Normally, Calgary is the driest city in Canada, but not this month. You start in the most affected areas, and then you work your way out until the bottle is dry. Now, this has uh, something that works on the Venturi effect. So you're wondering, well, how do I know when it's done? Because this bottle will empty. As the water flows through here, it creates suction and pulls the water out of this container. Here's my little switch here. I'm just going to turn it on and I'm going to hit this. So to give you an idea of how much is left, my bottle is now down to here after what two minutes of spraying so you've got a lot and you want to make sure 
that you use all of it because as soon as they're activated, they're going to start dying if they don't get fed. So you got to get them on the grass. So don't think, I'll just save this little bit. No, no, no. Once they've got water on them, you use them or you're wasting their precious little lives. Okay, so done, right? Yeah, pretty much. Make sure you water your lawn right afterwards. You wanna make sure that this is driven down from the, uh, just being on top of the grass, down into the bottom of the grass so those nematodes can kill those little cinch bugs, chinch bugs, whatever you wanna call them. Often you'll want to keep watering your lawn for about three days. You just wanna keep pushing them down towards the, where those cinch bugs are and you wanna push those cinch bugs up out of their little holes so that these guys can get them. Now in my case, it's gonna to start to rain, so I'm not going to. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. It really helps drive the Google algorithms so that other people get this information. I wish I had all of this information a week ago when I started doing the research for this video. It would have been super helpful for me. Anyway, hey, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca. That's www.urtech.ca or you can leave a question or comment below and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great one. Bye-bye.